guys, so today I'm going to show you what I normally bring with me to Friday Night Magic. My Friday Night Magic, I typically stay around where I go to work. Um, there's a, another store I really like around, you know, outside of Houston where I live, but it's kind of, the traffic is very bad. So that store has a Friday Night Magic time of like... I want to say 7 o'clock, maybe even sooner, and there's no way I can get from work when I leave at 6 to that place with that particular traffic pattern. So I go to the Locos, which my friend owns this particular store. Again, it's a video game anime store that also, by the way, sells Magic Hearts. Playmats. Um, Playmats, I definitely recommend bringing a playmat. Playmats are a great source of you know, getting to know each other, a great source of being a individual. In this game where a lot of us are very different, we're very unique people, and a playmat is a good way of, affordable, but good way of showing what you're interested in. Is that anime? Is that another card fight vanguard? Whatever it is, maybe you're military and you have a mil military playmat, then that's fantastic as well. So it's a way to show people uh, who you kind of are, and it's a good source for conversation with your opponents or newer players, or if you're the new player, it's a definitely great. Uh, now that I've watched the anime, so I don't know if you guys have known this, I've only watched SAO recently. I you know for the last, I think last month was when I first watched my uh, the first season, I actually watched it on Netflix in one go. Uh, dice, these are the perfect dice. The only problem is people will always ask ask to borrow them. And so whenever I'm playing a game, I put the dice here and I always like offer my opponent, hey, do you, there's dice if you need to use it. And then the table that you know, you're connected to where the dice is between, a lot of times those people want to use the dice too and I'm totally okay with it. This is probably, I have like OCD that if I lose one of these, like I don't take them to Friday Night Magic anymore. And it's very lucky that I got a reason, you can never have enough of these, honestly. Uh, deck box. I only bring standard deck for Friday Night Magic because we only play standard. I used to bring ADH a lot, sometimes I'll bring Tiny Leaders deck, uh, which is getting more and more popular where I am. But these will just be other random decks. I always put the decks that I'm using. So this is Modern, Modern, Draft, EDH, and Tiny Leader. Actually, they fit in one deck. A Nintendo 3DS. Um, this is the XL. And you got, I guess, Pokemon Omega Ruby is in it. A lot of my friends play uh, Pokemon. And, you know, so there you go. Uh, headphones. Headphones are really good. These, I, I forget, but I highly recommend. I purchased them off Amazon, and they are my favorite set of headphones, and they're, for, they're noise cancellation headphones. Uh, Bubblegum. A lot of times, you know, I will only speak for myself, but when you have Popeyes, and it's late, and it's 4 a.m., and you have, you can't, I mean, I guess you could bring our toothbrush, but I feel like it's kind of gross to, you know, speaking of this particular store, I don't know if I would want to brush my teeth at the store. So having like gum, just having a pack of gum to pass around or you know have it for yourself as well is very important uh, if you are going at any pre-release or if your Friday Night Magic is a little later. And this. So I don't know what this, uh, it's a Motorola Soul Republic and it, the best feature about this and this is why uh, I feel like our, this particular low coast is so friendly, so casual, it's because of this. So there's a Motai um, Bluetooth, so I can, put, I can put my phone and then Bluetooth it and then put Pandora on it. And it works perfectly, but it, the Motai function is what makes it kind of special and what makes, you know, people are really attached to music. I love music, Every, I don't know who doesn't like music, but when they can play your own music at the store and from your iPhone or your Android, I mean it works with it's works with any Bluetooth device. 
then that really makes it your store. And so it has the multi-function, which means that when a song is over, it will random, you can randomly select or it'll select in order and then the next person picks a song and it's kind of a fun way to pass time. Definitely a icebreaker. A lot of these, I, oh and um, this is the bag I have. I believe this company uh, is out of business and I only have, oh hold on let me see. Nope, nope. So I have a, oh here it is, life pad and a pen. I definitely recommend a life pad. And your opponent, my opponent, 95% of the time will be like, okay, can you take life from me? And then you just put a life pad in between with the dice and then you can both change the life, life totals. And so this backpack or this messenger bag I've had since freshman year of college. So this is like, it is amazing that it has lasted this long. It has been with me to, you know, so many different events and I just love it. So a messenger bag like this is perfect for magic because uh, it has a ton of pockets and stuff. And a trade binder. So my trade binder, I don't bring my high priced items. And I don't bring any items that I'm not going to trade. A lot of times you will see trade binders with a tremendous amount of valuable uh, cards, but the guy doesn't has no intention of trading it. It kind of is like Shark Tank, where some people just go on Shark Tank and their valuation is so crazy that they know that deal cannot be done and they just want the attention and being on TV. It's like free advertisement. So for Magic players, it's more like, hey, look at my awesome binder, I'm awesome, but I'm not going to trade you any of this stuff. That becomes really old really fast when it's the same guy with the same awesome binder and you can never trade for any of the stuff in it no matter what you you have on your trade binder and I don't know it's kind of a um, I think it is a deuce bag move for somebody to bring cards that they know they're not going to trade and only they want to show it, show it off sometimes because at the end of the day like that's not safe for you 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 don't really have any advantage except that you know maybe your ego is a little bit bigger but um, you're putting yourself at risk for losing it, maybe it drops in the bathroom, maybe someone spills soda on it, there's all types of scenarios. Maybe someone steals it, which would be terrible, but I um, mean, it happens. So I don't bring any, I don't bring, I trust my locals a lot, and I would leave my stuff around my locals all the time because they actually do have security cameras, but uh, I don't bring anything that is unnecessary to me. So if I, there are cards that I'm not going to trade or I don't want to trade or that particular group of players, let's say if they are standard, then I don't bring my modern cards to trade. I don't bring my legacy cards to trade for them with them because I know that they're just standard or EDH. So that's how I feel about trade binders. Um, I'm not, I highly, I don't like people who bring like eight trade binders because that just smells bad to me. It just smells extremely like you are trying to operate a secondary business in the store. And in my opinion, that the store has paid for the lights, has paid for the bathroom, has paid for the plumbing, has paid for the advertising, then the store deserves to make the you know profits when it can. Um, and I've seen I've seen some of you know people sell magic cards in stores and it's you no know, I Right, that's another topic altogether. This video is long enough as it is. Bye, my baby lions.